How are you doing, baby? Not good. Well, you've you've always been pretty good at dealing with pain. It's my specialty. Definitely, so far, feeling worse. <laughs> There's something about being validated that what you're feeling is real. All right, Joshua's with me. I'm not sure you guys have seen him in a while. This is my husband, Joshua. He's still alive. Here. He's still here. We are on our way to the hospital to get my gallbladder out. Are you excited? I'm super excited. I'm, I feel like this is actually gonna do something. We're very excited because we're hopeful that this helped me. I'm having a really hard time holding it. Okay. It's not going to work. Um, I didn't bring my camera because it's big and bulky, so hopefully you guys can see okay with um, our phones here, but we're excited. We're on our way. Let's get this thing out. All right. We're okay. yes. getting prepped. Joshua, how are you doing? I look fat. Look at me. I look like I've got like rolls. <laughs> She's gonna be wearing a sweatshirt. But we are getting Here ready. We go. Oh. Oh yeah. <laughs> I don't where is the sound thing come out of this? I don't even know. Oh. But we're getting ready. I've got my hospital socks on. We used to collect these back in the day when I used to come to the hospital so much. But I threw them out since then, so now we have a new pair. Are you ready? I got your clothes. Yes. <laughs> I'm getting a little bit nervous now that it's like here. I'm getting actually really nervous, but Speak it'll all be good. Sure. So, how you doing? I'm actually doing really good. I just came in the post-op room. I decided to not at least at this point, get narcotics because they make me so sick. And I feel like right now that was a good decision. It's pretty painful. Maybe like nine out of ten. It's like pretty painful, but I feel so sick on those narcotics that I just don't, at least at this point, it's not worth it. So we'll see if the pain gets bad enough that I want to try that. But yeah. Well, and you've you've always been pretty good at dealing with pain. Yeah, it's my specialty. It's I see you're you're time. feasting on your uh, crackers. Saltines, first thing I've eaten since last night, and do not do well without food. So I'm excited. The shoulder pain is starting. It's not too bad. I my endometriosis pain, shoulder pain was just excruciating. So I feel it, but at this point, it's not. It's not terrible, so yeah. most of the pain is coming from the shoulder gallbladder. Yeah. yeah. But I'm feeling, feeling for post-op, I feel like I'm not doing too, too bad. I don't know if I'm making sense. You are. But. Surprisingly lucid. Yeah. They, they didn't let me uh, come see you for the fun part where you're like, what? What is a light for? Yeah. Because... I just asked her a lot of questions. Oh. <laughs> I, I know I talked about you and our kids, and I was like, I don't remember. But we got some cranberry juice and some crackers, and I don't know. I think the pain is better juice than and what I remember from my last surgery. It just I was just so sick, I feel like. I just... With the nausea and all of those symptoms from the pain meds that I honestly felt like, I don't know, I feel better. I'm good. It's pretty bad, but I don't know, yeah. So they said in an hour or so, if we're feeling ready, we can go home. So, yeah, I think it went really well. I'm really excited to see how things turn out. Okay, well, we've got you dressed, and unfortunately, that was extremely difficult. It's doing much worse now. The pain is still about the same. Like, I feel like I can handle the pain. But I'm so dizzy, and my head is pounding, and I feel like so nauseous.
delicious. Like I, I can't stand up. I have another sip of cranberry juice. <laughs> yeah, it's really, I'm really, really sick. So still haven't taken any major pain meds. Yeah. You'd be worse with pain I meds. Yeah, I feel like pain-wise, I'll be able to make it. My the anesthesia, you know, just, oh my gosh. It was like not bad until I got up. They had me go to the bathroom and. Right over I, here. I can't even open my eyes. I can't feel like show them where I peed. I'm gonna show them. Mm -hmm. You said you wanted this to be the real experience. This is the real experience. Um, but yeah, I just, I feel so sick. I'm like, I feel like I can't open my eyes. So I'm gonna throw up. getting worse but it's okay so still feeling hopeful and glad we got the surgery I feel like I'm shaking I'm not shaking I guess it just feels like it but I'm not really okay we don't have a lot of time because we're just at a light but how are you doing baby not good not good what happened Okay, hang in there. How are you feeling? Me? Mm -hmm. I, <laughs> I'm fine, babe. I'm just worried about you. Okay, I gotta keep driving. Okay, bye. Well, here we are. Amy having her first real meal. She was worried about spilling, so we got her our baby's bib. Seems to and be she's having some gentle chicken ramen from our favorite Japanese ramen restaurant. In a lot of pain. Yeah. A lot, a lot of pain, but it's good. Is the ramen good? Yeah, it's good. Okay, well, brought to you by Haru Ramen. <laughs> I wish. Come yeah, come on, Haru. Start sponsoring Start. us. Serious. Um, but yeah, I'm feeling lots of pain. I look cute. You look great. For a, for a recently triply stabbed woman, you look awesome. So here's our bandages. We got three lovely band-aids. Much better today. It's the morning of day two. And the pain is gone down significantly. Like yesterday it was like a nine. Today it's more like probably like a six. I told Josh a seven, but honestly, probably like a six today. It is so much better. Um, I am having a little bit of the shoulder pain from, um, what's it called? Like the air. That they fill you up with but it's not nearly as bad as my endo surgery that I got last time so it's hurting but I'm definitely doing better I kind of want to like walk around a tiny bit today and move probably should put some compression socks on if I'm gonna do that you guys know how that is but here's my bed I'm not gonna make it today that's okay so I was looking for Amy and she told me she's going outside and I came out here and she wasn't on her porch she wasn't on the trampoline. I wasn't sure where she, oh, there she is. She's laying down. She's created a little, a little cocoon of blankets. She's just laying on the grass. So comfy. Having fun, babe? Yeah, it feels good to be outside with some fresh air. <laughs> this is so great. Oh man.
I'm good. You can stay out here as long as you want. Just make sure you don't hurt yourself getting up. So I am now six days post-op. I got it done last Thursday and it is now Wednesday of the following week. And I will say by now I'm doing a lot better than I was last week. By Sunday, I felt a lot less pain. I felt a lot more energy. I felt really good um, until Monday. And then I felt terrible all over again. Monday I felt really, really sick. I don't know what happened, but I woke up in more pain, in, in more sickness, and I don't know. It was weird. And then yesterday and today, I feel pain-wise have gotten way better. But the symptoms I'm feeling now are itchiness. Today, I have been insanely itchy. Like, I am trying not to itch. But the point where it, like, hurts because you're not itching it, it's been so itchy. But I know that's a sign that it's healing, so I know it's a good sign. But it's been super itchy today. I have been so bloated, like, insanely. Last night was probably the worst after dinner. I got so, so bloated and every time I eat, I feel so sick, like worse than I used to feel. I feel really, really nauseous. Um, not as bad as, it's kind of a different nausea. Like there's the nausea from the pain meds and the anesthesia. And then there's like my normal nausea. And then there's this post-op nausea. Do you guys who have chronic nausea understand that there's like different levels and there's different types, right? Like, I don't know how to explain it, but what I've been feeling the past few days is different. Like, it just feels like my digestive system is thrown out of whack. I mean, it's always been out of whack, but even more so. And I don't really have an appetite. I don't really want to eat. I've been eating. I'm like really good at eating when I feel terrible because I've been doing it for the past six years. I've had constant nausea for the past six years, so I know how to eat when I'm nauseous, but I don't really want to, and then I feel like way worse after. I think previous, before surgery, I would feel nauseous, and then I'd eat, and I'd almost feel better after, and right now it, it feels way worse, so I don't know. And then just the bloating is insane, you guys. I look like I'm like 20 weeks pregnant. Um, I was able to take off the big bandages on my belly. I had like big ones on there and then um, underneath were like the little, I'm looking at it, you, you can't see, but <laughs> the little like pieces of tape that are over each incision. And I have a lot of incisions. I have five. I thought they said they were doing three. There's five here. One, two, three, four, five. There's one really small one and then three on the top and one in my belly button. Um, and the belly button one is really, really gross. It's really gross. But I have been able to shower, which has been nice. On Sunday, I was able to take my first shower. Um, and I've been showering since then. I, I love showers. But definitely so far feeling worse, <laughs> which I think is normal. Like, I don't expect it to be better right away. My body's trying to figure out how to work without a gallbladder. I have been... This is way too much information, but so constipated. Like, it's bad. And I st started taking stuff to help, but honestly, I feel like we're going to have to take, like, a laxative or a sp <laughs> suppository or something. Oh, I'm going to ask the doctor because it's it's gotten really, really not good. If you're here because you're wanting to get the surgery or you're getting the surgery, you got to know that that may happen. But I definitely have lots of digestion, pain, just all of it just hurts. And it does seem just different than what I had before. And I would say right now it's probably worse than what I had before. Um, I am i don't know. I don't know what's going to happen. We'll see. We'll see. What if all my digestion stuff is worse? That's what the surgeon, he's like, I'm preparing you for this. It might be way worse after the surgery. And... I was willing to take that risk, so it'd still be worth it, even if it does. So that's kind of where I'm at right now, a week after, I guess a little under a week after surgery. It just, everything hurts, and the incision pain doesn't hurt as bad, except the itching is so obnoxious, but the actual incision pain is a lot better. 
It's now my digestive system trying to figure out how to work without a gallbladder. Okay, I'm sure you can hear my kids' uh, white noises right now, but oh well, here we are. I have an update for you. <clears throat> it has been 11 days, 11, 12, 12 days since my surgery, and I'm doing much, much better. Everybody told me two weeks, and that was when their pain was gone from like surgery pain so I think for sure in two days I think I'll be about to that point like back to normal maybe still have a little pain but like totally function normal I feel like I can kind of get back to myself now um which is still you know less than the energy of many humans but back to my old self um and so that's been great I still feel very bloated and I ended up having to take some stool softeners and laxatives the doctor recommended so that is still we're still trying to get things you know um figured out how to digest food without a gallbladder my body is still working on that but it is much better but i do have an exciting update i went to my um what's it called post-op appointment with my it's actually the nurse practitioner for the surgeon she said that my gallbladder had been chronically inflamed, had lots of inflammation, and was diseased. I had a diseased gallbladder that was not working. There was, like we thought, no stones, no nothing inside there that wasn't supposed to be, but the actual gallbladder itself was diseased, not working right. So, most people might not like to hear that news. I mean, I don't know, maybe other people would if it was already out but for me I was so excited to hear that it just made my whole day because it means that there was something wrong with it and she was pretty confident that it would help some of my other GI issues and possibly the reason that I was struggling so much with SIBO and couldn't kill it and could not get my SIBO un under control and just really all of my digestive issues could have been coming from this one tiny little organ in my body and for so long my doctors pushed me away from getting it out so so many doctors and surgeons told me not to get it out and i am so so happy i did right now my body is still trying to figure it out but every day seems to be a little better i had really bad nausea no appetite at all and the past couple days it's finally started to come back a little bit right now it feels about the same as before i got surgery so we'll see i will keep you guys updated on future in future videos about how my um, GI system is doing after getting my gallbladder removed but as of 12 days post-op as of 12 days post-op I feel like I'm doing so good and I'm just so excited that something was really wrong it's like that validation you guys know how it is if you live chronically ill there's something about being validated that what you're feeling is real and that there's a physical evidence that what you're feeling is is there and that's true and it's not just in your head and it's not just just live with this it's no big deal like a lot of people have told me over the years or you're just depressed or you're just whatever people have said i feel validated for my symptoms so Great news, you guys, between that and my upper cervical chiropractor adjustments that were giving me more energy, less migraines. I just feel so hopeful. You guys know this is how I live. I live a, a life where I don't like to live in whatever the opposite of hope is for you, but I like to live in a hopeful place that things will get better, no matter what. No matter what symptoms I feel tomorrow, that I am on the right track and my life is moving forward and upward and that tomorrow and the next day and the next day and the next years of my life will be happier and better than they are today I just always live in a place like that and now my I have evidence that what I've been believing for so many years is true that I am getting better it's my child I think he's okay. Uh, they are napping, by the way. But I have, I have validation for what I'm feeling physically, but also emotionally, that things are getting better, 
that I am on the path to healing and health and maybe that full healing won't come till the next life but I still just choose to believe that things are just gonna keep getting better and they are and now I have proof validation that that is happening so hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did give it a thumbs up I don't know it seems like it's probably gonna be a really long one if you're not yet subscribed hit that subscribe button and I'll see you on the next one